This is AEDT 1120U, Foundations of Digital Teaching and Learning Technologies. The title of this video clip is Aggregating, Filtering, Connecting to Ideas and People. The analysis questions for this video clip are as follows. How does information aggregation work? Number two, how can people act as an information filter? Number three, what does connecting ideas to each other and connecting ideas to people mean? And number four, what issues exist with information that is gleaned from the World Wide Web and the Internet? The HCHI model, Desjardins 2001-2005, is being used in this course as it outlines the major technological competencies that will be explored throughout the course. The informational order addresses issues pertaining to the use and generation of declarative knowledge. In August of 2010, Wired Magazine had the audacity to declare that, quote, the web is dead, long live the internet, end quote. And that's taken from Wired Magazine 2010-08, and the URL is given on the slide in front of you. As we saw in the previous video clip, it is proposed that the World Wide Web can be characterized with respect to information by the processes of finding or searching, selecting, and managing slash creating, while the internet can be characterized with respect to information by the processes of aggregating, filtering, and connecting. An aggregating information competency description can be viewed as the use of a website or computer software application that aggregates or accumulates a specific type of information from multiple online sources, and that's taken from Aggregation uh, Wikipedia 2010. Sample aggregators that you could take a look at include Twitter, RSS feeds, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Google+. A filtering information competency description can be viewed as the use of a system that removes redundant or unwanted information from an information stream using semi-automated or computerized methods prior to presentation to a human user. That's taken from Wikipedia 2010. Some filters you might consider include people friended or con contacted or circled in Facebook, LinkedIn, and Google+. You might also take a look at the use of hashtags, searches, and following used in Twitter. A connecting information competency description can be viewed as connecting ideas to each other and connecting ideas to people. And that's taken from Castell and Stell, 2010, and the link to Tim Castell's uh, blog is given on the uh, slide in front of you. Some issues underlie all of the information that's available on the World Wide Web and the Internet. These are issues of validation, verification, and evaluation. In other words, how can information obtained from the World Wide Web or the Internet be validated, verified, and evaluated? These issues are of prime importance and must be addressed before the information that is found can be used and transformed into knowledge. The related theory page is uh, the same as on the previous video clip, that is, it references both of the papers that are um, presented there, so Desjardins 2005, Desjardins Lacasse and Bel Air 2001, and the link to the informational uh, order module from the BED uh, Learning with ICT course uh, is given. Synthesis questions for this video clip are as follows. Differentiate between searching, selecting, and creating managing, and aggregating, filtering, and connecting. How and why are these different processes? Number two. In the Innovation Leadership Network blog, it is reported that innovations travel on two legs. What does this have to do with connecting ideas and people? Number three, Twitter is referred to as a microblog. This implies that Twitter and blogs are related. In what ways? Do they work the same way for all three functions discussed in this video clip, i.e. 
aggregating, filtering, and connecting? And number four, how do we go about verifying and validating information on the World Wide Web and the Internet? Is it worth going through the trouble? And that brings us to the end of this video clip.